April, thank you. People who live in parts of Jefferson Parish have been complaining about an odor for about a year. And now an engineering consultant hired by the parish released a report detailing the extent of the problems at the landfill in Wagaman. Duke Carter joins us now to explain. Hey, good morning, Leslie. Yeah, Carlson Environmental Consultants released its findings and learned that there are also flooded gas wells in addition to the broken pumps at the landfill. The consultants said a material used to solidify waste created troubling amounts of strong hydrogen sulfide, especially when it's disposed in warm, wet, bacteria-rich conditions. The parish landfill took in liquid waste for about a year before stopping last month when complaints came from Harahan, River Ridge, and Wagman. The drainage system at the landfill wasn't functioning properly because some of the wells that supposed to remove the hydrogen sulfide gas were flooded with liquids and they just were not working. Well, now there are lawsuits being filed and one is seeking the parish to remove the smell from the JP landfill and overall just stop the gas emissions. We caught up with Jefferson Parish Council Member Paul Johnston in regards to the lawsuit. Suits. Here's what he said about them being fouled. Take a listen. I was dismayed because the citizens, if, if, if they're suing, they're suing themselves because they're suing, they pay taxes. So taxes is going to be paying whatever's, whatever's done. I mean, there's lawyers that's class action lawsuits. So they're suing themselves. You know, we're trying to correct the problem and we understand the issues they're having in the area. But like I told you earlier, we know we have an issue, but we know there's other older problems in the parish. We have other chemical companies, uh, they have uh, uh, barges. Now there is a meeting today at 2 where JP leaders are expected to address the smell for people concerned about that. And coming up at 6.30, we'll hear from people who say they plan to protest ahead of today's meeting. We caught up with some of those people who say they plan to protest. They're, of course, just infuriated and upset that the smell has been going on for so long. Mm -hmm. And they just want to make sure that the, pretty much that the smell is removed from that area. They say they're concerned for their health and concerned for their kids. Yeah, hopefully something gets done at the meeting and they make some decisions and start working towards a solution. Duke, thank you very much.